and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you a really delicious and easy appetizer that you can make, or you can make this in complement to fajitas. We're gonna be making cheese stuffed bacon wrapped shrimp. So delicious, so easy, high protein, keto friendly, and low in carb. Now, this one I'm gonna be making not just keto friendly, but it's going to be completely carnivore friendly. This is such an easy recipe to make. And what makes it even easier is we're gonna be making it in our air fryer. I'm gonna be using my Tasty Air Fryer. You guys already know this is my new favorite air fryer. My discount code is in the description below if you're interested in purchasing this. Jumping right into our shrimp. So the first thing we're gonna do is I wanna make sure that my cheese is perfectly cut to the shrimp. Now, I've already thoroughly washed and patted dry shrimp. I have jumbo shrimp here. You can use whatever kind of size shrimp that you want. And for the cheese, to make sure that it's carnivore. Now, if I was just making this keto, I would use pepper jack. I think it tastes really good with this, but I'm just gonna be using a Colby Jack cheese. This is just a regular jack cheese. Nothing complicated about it, no veggies in here, nothing, just really, really simple. Now I'm gonna cut this into strips that are about this size, so like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut them long ways and in half. So depending on what size cheese block you're gonna buy, you want them to be about this size. So it's about one inch this way and then two inches down. Now, of course, it also depends on how big your shrimp is. So if your shrimp is on the larger side, then you're gonna want a larger piece. But the most important is this cheese is going to go into the shrimp. So you wanna make sure that it's not too large but not too small to fit inside of your shrimp. Cut as many pieces as you're going to need for the number of shrimp that you have. Now we want to prep our shrimp. So I have some shrimp here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna butterfly it. And the way you wanna do this is you wanna take a paring knife and along the back of the shrimp, we're just gonna cut about halfway to three quarters of the way through. So carefully you wanna slice into your shrimp. And it's gonna butterfly open like this. We're gonna do this for all of our shrimp because this is where the cheese is going to go. Now you don't wanna slice all the way through, otherwise the cheese is obviously gonna fall out. So just slice it until it butterflies perfectly. Do this for all of your shrimp. If you're not very comfortable holding the shrimp while you do this, you can also put it against the cutting board and you can slice it this way. This is if you're nervous, if you don't have as much stability with the paring knife and you're just nervous to cut yourself, you can also do that as well. As you guys already know, all of my ingredients and my measurements are in the description below. And this is a completely carnivore friendly recipe. So if you were gonna make this keto, you could do seasonings, you could put seasoning on the shrimp, you could do like different kinds of cheese, you could put jalapeno in there and make it like a jalapeno popper shrimp. Uh, you could do a bunch of different things with this, but I wanted to make this something that was carnivore accessible. And just because it's carnivore doesn't mean that it's not keto. It's also keto friendly. We're now going to assemble our bacon wrapped shrimp. So I forgot to mention in the beginning, you wanna make sure that before you start this, you're soaking wooden sticks or toothpicks. I'm using bamboo toothpicks. Soak them for at least 30 minutes because we're gonna be putting this in the air fryer. You don't want any wooden sticks to be dry when you're putting it in the air fryer or baking or grilling, anything like that. If you have a wooden stick and it's gonna be going into heat, always soak it and pat it dry before you use it. Now, to assemble our shrimp, you wanna take the piece of the butterfly shrimp. I'm taking my cheese of choice. Like I said, this one, we're gonna be using a jack cheese. 
And I'm also taking some thick cut bacon. Now I already have bacon that I cut before. You only need half of it because the shrimp is really small. You don't need a large piece. I'm gonna take the bacon and I'm going to wrap it around our shrimp. Just wrap it around like this. You're gonna take a wooden stick or a wooden skewer and you're just going to pierce this all the way through so that when you put it into the air fryer, it doesn't fall apart and the bacon doesn't unravel. As you can see, the skewer is through both ends. So it's through the beginning and it's through the last uh, wrap that we did with the bacon. That's so it doesn't fall apart in the air fryer. I'm gonna do this for the rest of my shrimp as well. You can also take the tail off. I like the tail on because I think it makes it a little bit easier to eat this. But if you wanna take the tail off, just go ahead and do that. And you can just throw these into your mouth rather than having to take the tail off. That's completely based on your preference. All of our shrimp is wrapped. Now it's time to throw it into our air fryer. So directly into the air fryer tray, I'm just gonna place the shrimp. I'm gonna place them in like this. And it's a non-stick tray, so you don't need to spray it down with anything. If you wanted to, you could spray it with like beef tallow spray or a butter spray, something like that, but you don't need to do that for this at all. I put our shrimp in so that they're not touching. I don't want them to touch each other because I wanna make sure that the bacon is cooking well all the way around. I'm gonna put my tray back into the air fryer and we're gonna set it on the highest temperature. Now this air fryer goes all the way up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That is pretty unusual for an air fryer, so I really, really love that it goes up that high. I'm setting it to 450. And for our time, we wanna set it to seven minutes. Now, depending on how thick cut your bacon is, it could take more or less time, but I'm gonna set it to seven and I'm gonna flip it halfway through to make sure it cooks on the other side. So I've set it to 450, seven minutes, and I'm just gonna push start. I'll see you halfway through. We are halfway through. I'm gonna take this out and flip it over to cook evenly on the other side. All right, my air fryer just told me it was finished cooking. Take a look at this, so delicious, melty and cheesy. The bacon is super, super crisp. I will say, because my bacon's on the thicker side, I did end up needing to cook it for a total of 10 minutes. So like I said, you can start out with seven if you have really thin strips of bacon, but you can kind of play around with it. I would check when there's about one minute left and see if you need to add any more time. It also depends if you like your bacon on the crispier side or on the chewier side, just whatever your preference is. Let's take a look at this. Oh my God, guys, it is just so delicious. It is super melty with the cheese. The bacon is nice and crisp and our shrimp is perfectly cooked. I'm gonna place these on my wooden board and I will see you guys at the very end for the taste test. Let's take a look at our delicious, carnivore-friendly, keto-friendly, cheese-stuffed, bacon-wrapped shrimp. Perfect as an appetizer, as a meal, as an addition to your fajitas. Let's take a look at this, just, it is so delicious. You can see how crisp the bacon is this air fryer is amazing it makes bacon so crispy it keeps the juiciness of anything that you're cooking our shrimp is perfectly cooked our cheese is nice and melty i'm gonna take out this toothpick remember guys we put in a toothpick so make sure you take it out before you do a taste test i'm just gonna pull this out cheers mmm that is so incredible. The shrimp is super juicy and the bacon is really crisp on the outside. The ability for this air fryer to go all the way up to 450, which is not typical for an air fryer, really is such a game changer and makes it so much easier to cook things like this. So you get really, really juicy meat on the inside from the shrimp and then the really crispy bacon on the outside with really nice and melted cheese. 
Make sure to use my discount code in the description below to purchase this air fryer if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell to never miss a tasty upload. Till next time.